Well, everyone, it looks like the iPod has finally been discontinued. Now, this is actually pretty crazy because I was just getting ready to drop some iPod, you know, 8th generation leak type of video thing. It looks like I can't do that anymore. And it looks like the iPod 7 generation that Apple made about three years ago is now going to be the final iPod in the complete iPod lineup, which is actually pretty crazy because in my opinion, this was actually kind of the saving grace for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus of getting the next iteration of software. But now that this specific iPod actually ended up being unreleased, I'm curious to see if this will affect the iPhone 7 lineup and those devices continuing to get support. I don't know for a fact, but this is something to consider. Now with the iPod Touch 7 generation, this was essentially continuing that you know 4-inch display that Apple created, and this was actually one of the smallest devices you could buy with a 4-inch display, you know, in this case, that supported iOS. So this was actually very interesting that Apple did something like this. And personally, although I don't really see the need for an iPod anymore, this was technically the cheapest entry-level point for an iOS device. If you wanted to go buy a device that had iOS, this was the cheapest option, I think at $200 or something. Now, interestingly enough, in this somewhat farewell address in the newsroom that Apple had, they actually kind of mentioned the Apple Watch SE and the iPhone SE quite a bit. And now it was actually weirded out to see the iPhone SE 3 reference in this specific, you know, place. I mean, they said that the iPhone SE to the latest iPhone 13 Pro Max, you know, those devices do support the specific, you know, iPod, Apple Music and all that stuff. But it's weird because now the cheapest device you could go and buy for an Apple ecosystem device is now even more expensive than it was before. So I don't understand why they discontinued the iPod lineup, but they're continuing the iPhone SE home button design. Like, I feel like they should just, you know, remove that design, give us some newer design in my opinion. But it is also very interesting that they chose today. Why now did they decide to go ahead and end the iPod lineup? I think this honestly has something to do with iOS 16. I for sure 100% fact believe that the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus were going to get, you know, iOS 16. But now the fact that the iPod Touch 7 generation with the same chipset is now going to be dropped from being sold brand new. This doesn't necessarily mean apples to apples. This doesn't mean that the iPod Touch 7 generation and the iPhone 7 correlate in so many different ways. But realistically, the specifications inside an iPod Touch 7 and an iPhone 7, there's a lot of correlation there. So this is another big area we're going to have to kind of take a look at and pretty much see what's going to be happening here. In my opinion, I think the iPod Touch lineup was beautiful. You know, one of my first iOS devices I owned after my iPhone 3GS was an iPod Touch, I think like third or fourth generation, maybe even second gen. And I used that thing all the time. I had a great time with it. And now we're kind of in a situation where the iPod lineup is now at its end. And personally, I think it's okay, but I'm curious to see what this does to the iPhone 7 lineup. So I would love to hear your opinion on this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.